Welcome to Divinity Academy. My name is Julian and today I will show you how to export your issues from Jira into a single Excel file. First of all, let's find our issues. Ok, found them. Now you can select the issues you would like to export. You can export all of them or you can use simple filters to filter some of them or you can even switch to JQL for more advanced filtering options. So once you have everything that you need, you can start the exporting process. You can do this by simply clicking this button opening Microsoft Excel. Now, Jira will ask you if you'd like to use Excel online or the standard desktop version. Let's choose the online version. When doing it for the first time, you'll be asked to install the Jira Cloud plugin and you can see it here. And now we have all the pre-selected issues exported. Everything we have here matches exactly the current view in Jira. So, let's say you'd like to add more options and more information. For example, let's add the description. Ok, let's see how it works. Again, you click on the Excel icon, you wait for the content to be exported and after a few seconds, here you have it. And as you can see, the description field was added. What's important, there's a limit on the number of issues that can be exported. By default, you can export up to 1000 issues at once. This applies both to Jira Server and Jira Cloud. On Jira Server, you can edit the settings and change the number. But, unfortunately, on Jira Cloud, you don't have this option. Ha! <laughs> but there's a simple workaround for this issue. On Jira Cloud, you can simply export all your issues to Google Sheets because there are no limits for Google Sheets, so you can export everything you have in Jira. And then you can simply copy and paste it into Microsoft Excel or you can just save it as an Excel file. And that's it. Now you know how to export your issues from Jira into an Excel file in a matter of seconds. Be sure to check out other videos at the Divinity Academy. Now have fun exporting your issues. See you next time.